What's your estimated cost on manufacturing these things? Okay, I'm thinking fashion kitchen colors, $19.99, but stainless steel model, $29.99. And what are you gonna make them for, you think? I have no idea, I haven't done that part of the research. Ooh. Is there anything else out there like this? No. But Marion, prove to me that there's a market. Like, how do I know besides your charming personality telling me there's a market? Right, because it does more than one thing. That's it? Marianne, in all seriousness, don't you think it would have been important to know what you think your estimated manufacturing costs are? To know that me, as an investor, who's gonna give you the $35,000, could figure out if I'd ever get it back? Why did you not figure that out first? Why didn't I? Because I'm a newbie, quite honestly. How many of the traditional ones are sold in the United States right now? You know, I have no idea. Oh. To be honest with you, I don't know, you know? It's got to be millions. I mean, it's a big Why business. Why are we yeah. helping her? Because we love her. This. I love her. She's adorable. I love her. Let me tell you something. If you were in one of my business school stop classes, being mean to her. I would spray you down with water, and every time you say I don't know, I'd hit you with an electric cattle prod. <laughs> I mean, you gotta hey. know this stuff. So, Mary, you have no product, you have a prototype, you have no sales, you're not sure what you're gonna sell it for, and you don't know your cost, but yet, we love you, and we're enjoying having you here. You know. It goes to prove that being nice goes a long way. It goes to prove that the brand starts with the person. Well said. Absolutely. We invest in the person. But anybody else out here, you would have been eaten alive. Well, we're not finished yet. Brian, you're a nice enough person. You're cute, you're bubbly, but you don't know any of your numbers. 